plants of Avalon in Ireland and in today's video I'm going to be watering some of my epiphytic cacti such as the Slumbergeras and uh, one of my Ripsalidopsis is the Easter cactus because they are absolutely shriveled as anything and I thought in this video I'm going to show you a before and after video of what they look like before and what they look like after. Now I did give these some of these uh, slumber deer as commonly known as Christmas and Thanksgiving cacti a bit of a watering last weekend and I made a video when I watered some of my cacti succulents for the very first time after winter but the problem with this one is because of the basket it's in it's like a bit of like a coconut core type of fibre at the bottom when you go to water it most of the water comes straight out and I obviously want to keep the polyton quite, quite dry obviously at this time of year so it still needs a big water as do some of my other slumbergeras and a few of you said they want to see what the plants look like before and after the watering so this is going to be a good example with the epiphytes so I hope you're going to enjoy this video guys this is my um, old slumbergera buckley commonly known as the true Christmas cactus got about three or four different varieties in this hanging basket as you can see it's so shriveled and it was even more shriveled than that before I watered it at the weekend but this is going to fatten up really nicely I'm going to be taking this one and my others out into the yard it's a lovely sunny spring almost almost spring day today and it's going to be perfect to give them a really thorough watering because as I mentioned if I water it now water comes straight out the bottom and it means I don't have to worry in the yard thoroughly soak them and then keep reapplying it and then I'm going to show you uh, probably two days afterwards in this same video of what they look like when they've all fattened up you won't believe the difference guys so here we go let's get to taking them out and giving them a good water in now we've bought the hanging basket slumbergeras and the ripsalidopsis easter cactus outside it is a sunny day but because they're hanging up in the polytunnel they get plenty of sunshine anyway so i don't really need to acclimatize them they're only going to be out here for about half an hour to an hour while I fully, fully, thoroughly water them. And I've got the water here, rain water that's at room temperature. And I haven't put any fertiliser in because as I mentioned, I gave them a little bit of water in on Sunday and a little bit of fertiliser in that as well, a bit of tomato feed, very weak diluted. So I don't need to do it again. I just need to give them all a good soak. And you'll see what I mean about the water comes straight out the pot. So lovely to give these, see how red this is because it's so dehydrated and this, look how shriveled it is. So have a look at how they look now guys about how shriveled they are because after a day or two they're going to fatten up really nice and it'd be quite remarkable the difference in how they look. This one is really dehydrated, it's been flowering as well so this is going to really appreciate a proper watering all the water dripping out you can see why I couldn't give it much water in the polytunnel I did want this going all over the floor in the polytunnel so that's the first bit of soaking I've given them now and I'm going to let them drain for a few minutes and I'm going to keep repeating it and repeating it until they're fully soaked and then put them back into the polytunnel and then I'm going to leave them for a couple of days then I'll show you then what they look like when they've all they've all fattened up so they're going to be going from this very wrinkled dehydrated state to looking much plumper so here's what they look like now and here's what they're going to look like Tra -la! that's the next day and I am amazed how much these have plumped up already now this is my Slumberdua Buckley there's a few different varieties in this basket and just look how much it has plumped up from yesterday it's still a little bit shrink, uh, wrinkled but so much more plumper and especially around this side here as well look at that I'll just turn it round it looks so much better and here look you can really see where it's plumped up and uh, starting to uh, lift itself up as well from the side of the uh, hanging basket here. It's getting more energy back into it. Absolutely wonderful, the difference. And round here, this was so wrinkled and lovely to see it's really plumping up really, really well already. And then my other slumber is in here, a few different types in this basket as well. This is really firmed up, look at that and this as well that's sort of red lovely red color that's firming up very nicely indeed and then here this is my ripsalidopsis easter cat it's got a few different varieties in here and look at that how it's really uh, also firmed up there this especially this was very 
been called that's firmed up and the buds are looking more bigger as well and uh, lovely red edging on that look at the leaves they've really fattened up a treat and then my other slumbergera here as well a few different types of thanksgiving cactus in here look at the difference in this one this is really the leaves have gone shinier as well really plump so much better so that's just literally overnight so these are going to carry on plumping up over the next few days as well but i just wanted to show you the dramatic difference it can make um, by giving them a good water when they're really desperate for it so it's so much better and if you want to see um a before and after of wrinkling shriveled cactus plants my puncture prickly pears then do check out a video i've made on watering shriveled puncture prickly pear cacti and the before and after results in that video i'll link that up above and down below in the video description and i just want to wish you all if you're watching this video today a very happy paddy's day it's paddy's day here 17th of march 2022 so if you're watching this on the day happy paddy's day and uh, if you're watching this in the future happy day anyway or evening and uh, if you haven't done already please do subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell and you can also follow me on instagram twitter and facebook at Desert Plants of Avalon. And for more growing tips as well as regular articles, then do check out my website, desertplantsofavalon.com. I want to wish you all an amazing plant-powered day! Happy growing, y'all!